Now, well, meal prepping doesn't have to be a pain. Today, we're going to learn all about how you can create some delicious meals. Mm -hmm. right? Lori Wallace is in Folsom finding out more. Hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. Hey there, good morning you guys. Yeah, March is a National Frozen Food Month. So I'm hanging out at Patty Mastrosco's, right? Our friend here who's gonna have all the great tips for us. This is what your freezer needs to look like if you wanna be prepared and be ready to go for meals to be done quickly and ahead of time. As you guys know, life is pretty much back to normal for most families in terms of kids going to school, activities being back, sports being back. And what that means is not a lot of time to get all the meals ready. So Patty, that's where you step in for us this morning, that frozen food can be a really good option. Absolutely, it saves so much time, it saves money, it's better for you, so we'll cover all those good tips. Okay, so what do we have set out here? So this is basically uh, some of my favorite frozen foods, okay? So this is what you need to let you show it in the freezer, this is what you need to do to start, and you wanted meal prep, so here we yep. go. Okay. what I did, I took uh, I took a whole bag of frozen chicken breast. Okay. And a whole package of frozen um, ground beef patties. Okay. So this is all ready to go. Okay. All right. Now, how long? Like, let's talk time frames here, because people. I think that's the big part of it, right? Is we think, oh, to meal prep. I, I don't have that kind of time. I'd rather just, you know, do it all at once. Okay. So this is literally, this is literally just taking your your container of ground of, of cooking your ground beef in a skillet. So it's maybe 10 minutes. So what I did was, so I cooked the whole package, like I said, and then I left some of it plain, oops, and then some of it I cooked with, I added some Mexican seasoning. So you've got something that works with like tacos and gelatas, burritos, and then you've got something that's a, a base for just whatever, you can go Italian, or I made like a shepherd's pie. So I did the exact same thing with my chicken, is I cooked all the chicken breasts, the whole bag. You can grill, broil, it doesn't matter. I I did it on the stove so it's nice and shreddy. Once again, I put some um, little bit of Mexican seasoning and some salsa on one, and this one is totally plain. And when you talk about saving money, since we're all spending all of our money on gas right now, uh, you can save money at the grocery store by doing this because you're able to buy in bulk and then really split it up and, and have it for the whole week. Exactly. And you know, talk about saving money, it, it definitely this is a money saver because nothing goes bad. Take out what you need. Also, I have to mention, you know, all these things came from Smart and Final, and I'm using their private label um, First Street or Sun Harvest Organic, which is always going to save you money, but they have new digital coupons. And it's not like 10 cents off five cans or something crazy. It's like there's it's substantial savings. So download the app, look for the digital coupons, and that's going to save you some money. But these are also better for you, believe it or not, than fresh. Because okay, I think that's probably what most people don't think to be true. Exactly, because every minute that you buy, you know, that fresh broccoli sits in your refrigerator, it's losing nutrients. So this is is picked and harvested and flash frozen within hours. So all the nutrients are retained and you just use what you need. If you know, if you don't, I mean, you buy a whole bunch of broccoli, I'm totally guilty of this. It's like a week later, half of it is still there. <laughs> well, this, you can just pull out of the freezer what you need. Yeah, and so. then you, you have it still half a bag sitting in there to use on your next recipe. Yeah, and mix and match, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's so many different products. There's, there's a, a frozen roll dough that is really nice because once again, if you want, you can, you can make two little rolls or three little rolls and the rest of it is in your freezer waiting to make something else. So, and you can also cook things like I have some frozen ravioli that I cooked ahead here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, feel free to even cook that ahead because, uh, you know, you, you mentioned you're really looking for time savers. Yep. So this is something that's, that's totally going to reheat just fine. Okay, I'm buying into all of this. Saving money <laughs> and saving my time, right, guys? So we're going to stick around next hour. A few more ideas plus recipes from Patty that are going to make those weeknights when the kids have you running crazy a little bit easier. I'll send it back to you. Eight dance classes a week is my life. <laughs> Eight, Lori. That's what I'm saying. Woo. That is what I'm saying. That Too girl. much. <laughs> it's a lot. All right. Thanks, Lori. <laughs>